All right, how's everyone doing today? Today we're gonna to be getting the, our shave on with a fader. I think it's a 26 millimeter bore brush. It's got a pretty pretty good size loft on it. And you can't see, um, losing some water there. I had some uh, fine Italian citrus shave soap soaking. Well, not soaking, but a little bit on top of the puck. This stuff has a really nice smell and the scent behind this one and the so fine tine citrus triple x um, parma inspirations i think that's what it was called my katie's bubbles and there might be a couple more out there um, is Aqua de Parma de Colonia. Uh, or Aqua de Parma Colonia. And uh, it's a really nice scent. It's a bitter orange. Vetiver, patchouli, oak moss. And some heavy florals. Like, uh, I think that's no a rose. Um, there's a there's a heavy floral in there. It's not like a bright, light, airy rose. It's kind of a similar rose as to what's in the check and speak number eighty eight. Step back a little bit. You can actually see, and this stuff is super dry. As you can see, it's leaving so many streaks. And yeah. Uh, it does feel nice getting back to using a single brush. Although both those soaps from the last video, the tobacco and Parasso performed really well or you know made a lather really quick and this brush isn't all, all the way broken yet you know, it probably has a solid there we go that's getting better ten ten shaves so it's way better than whenever it first one when I first got it. Oh yeah, there it is. But I do feel like it has more potential. Not all the ends are split up here, so it doesn't feel nearly as soft as some of my older brushes at the tips. And this stuff. Performance is very similar to the tobacco. I do believe it is a tallow based soap. And in the last video, I used one of my top two most efficient razors. I put a pulse over in it, and it was just incredibly smooth, comfortable still efficient as can be. Today's video, this is a, call it an R41. It is an R101 in which the black acrylic broke and then I put a bloodwood handle on it. But no one looks up R101 and this is yet again. Smooth, efficient, Unlike the Atlas H2, that is a solid piece of steel and just machining. This has a whole lot more tactile feedback. You can feel the blade do that. Or send a little 
waves through the handle. But it is just a brass tube with a brass weight about right there. And then it has two solid finials. There's no pressure at all. Not putting any pressure at all. Just letting the razor head do its work, do its job. Hair here. I mean, the cheeks are essentially hair free, but it's still my, where my dense growth is right here. And neck against the grain, but nothing to efficiency. It's, it's got it. Well, here, let's take a coffee break for a second. It's good. Wet the tips a little bit. So, anyone out there follows the NFL playoffs? Seahawks lost to the Packers. So, wish them the best of luck going forward. Uh, Packers, that is. It was a incredibly uh, exciting game towards the end of it. You know, you almost felt like the Seahawks were going to come back, especially if you're a fan. You've seen Russell Wilson do it so many times. But just wasn't enough there in the end. Still an exciting game to watch if you like football. And tactile feedback is so weird after using a razor that didn't have any of that.
I think I forgot to say it. I put the same blade that was in the Atlas H2 in this razor. Like not just a pole silver, it was the exact same blade. So this is its second shave. I'm probably hearing lies out there. It's four months old now. All right, a little bit here. Of course, right there. This is <laughs> impressively smooth. Next, and my neck is solid right here, though. And right there. two passes and this is taking care of both sides so the h2 and the r41 are super efficient in that area there's just enough blade exposure So whenever I say that you don't use any pressure, I don't know if I've explained this, you only put as much pressure on it as it puts whenever you leave it at 30 degrees. If it was supporting its own weight, you lean it over at 30 degrees. So, like that. You're not trying to hold it away and keep that angle. Just let it do its own thing. You're not putting any pressure down and you're not Trying to hold it off. All right. I will say that that R41 is not as smooth as the H2. It is just as aggressive as it feels. Whereas the H2 is more efficient than it feels aggressive. But I would say our efficiency. Similar. But that was a second time use on the, that pearl silver and I've used a feather in it and it, it was uh, a bit better so that might not, just not be a good fit for that blade, uh, for the that razor and blade combination. Alright. Fine, Italian citrus. Got some coffee in the mustache. All right. Yet again, it's another one of those beautiful scents everyone went crazy over. 
about six or seven years ago, maybe it's seven or eight years ago, I don't remember the exact time, uh, but it seemed like everyone went nuts over all the recreations of this Colonia scent from Aqua de Parma. Uh, I know one of them is the fact that the actual Aqua de Parma aftershave cologne perfume, I don't know what it was, it was for a time there, like 180 bucks. I have not checked on it. And I was just like, that is too much. But I liked Mr. Fine. Um, I had their snake bite first, and then I picked up a bottle of their Italian citrus and citrus noir. Um, and I fell in love with their aftershaves. There's, I think, four, maybe five ingredients. Uh, alcohol, water, menthol, and uh, the fragrance. Stuff is super thick, uh, slick and dense, just like that tobacco. Uh, it just doesn't come. To, well, they have their own balls now that look like they're the old C40 handles, and they're huge. They're actually pretty cute. I think they're made to. Uh, they work. They're not cute. They're pretty cool. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I think they're made to stack on top of each other. Uh, at least last time I saw them, I haven't went to the website to check them out, but I did see them in my email because they do send me those. And this does have menthol in it. It's quite nice. And it contains alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. Those are the ingredients. So I like that about it. And uh, so I went with Mr. Fine. Of course, I had the Razor Rock Triple X because it's fairly inexpensive. And... Uh, one to compare and contrast and still like the Mr. Fine more. I think the citrus comes out more. It's not as muddied. The scent is not as muddied. It's more uh, congruent with the actual Mako de Parma scent. All right. That's it for the day. That felt just like uh, cold water getting put on that aftershave. That was super nice. That was a very efficient save, shave, and uh, I'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all for stopping by, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.